back with Immortalized. Um, what can you tell me about that time you stopped? I imagine it feels good to come back and come back touring. Le pregunto, estuvieron un tiempo parados como por cinco años, volvieron con Immortalized, su último disco. ¿Qué se siente volver este, a tocar en vivo y por esta actividad? Well, you know, there's nothing like stepping away from something to realize how much you miss it and love it. So, yeah, definitely coming back, um, we were like just a bat out of hell. We, we, we've been playing uh, like, like people possessed, uh, really at a level that's unprecedented in our career, and we're just loving it. Dice que estuvo buenísimo, no hay nada mejor que alejarse de lo que uno le gusta como para volver con más fuerza, ¿no? Que estuvieron girando y tocando, que estuvo buenísimo realmente ese parte porque como vuelven a apreciar esto que estaban haciendo. Ok, you're uh, again uh, back in Argentina in a very big festival, good bands. Um, Great you, bands. You, you think it's a good opportunity to come back to Argentina with this uh, kind of big festival? Le pregunto si piensa que es una buena oportunidad volver a tocar a Argentina con un en, eh, festival de esta envergadura, de estas proporciones. I would love to. I love to. I love. I love the country. I love Buenos Aires. It's a beautiful city, um, beautiful culture, beautiful people, and the energy of the crowds here is almost second to none. So, yeah, I would love any chance to come back here. Bueno, dice que le encanta haber vuelto y que le encantaría volver en cualquier momento. Que le encanta Argentina, la ciudad, la energía de la gente, la comida, the food. Okay, was good. The best beef in the world, right? La comida, el mejor beef en el mundo. Okay, what's uh, um, I, I was telling like uh, before the. Um, this festival, uh, doing some interviews or talking about the bands, and I said that Disturb is one of the bands that at the beginning had the new metal label, but you kind of got away from that since the second album, Believe, you got away from that, you found your own style, and you, you, you hear Disturb now, say, it's Disturb. It was very hard for you to get away and to find your own style. Le pregunto, ellos, bueno, tienen un estilo muy propio, se fueron de la etiqueta del new metal que tenían en un principio, y lo lograron como un segundo sonido propio a partir de su segundo disco de Believe, Si eso fue muy difícil, ¿cómo fue que terminaron encontrando su sonido? Well, to be honest, I, I don't think that we ever really fit with new metal, not even on the first record. Um, we, we came out at the same time when there was that new immersion, or, or the new emergence, I should say, of uh, the style called new metal. But to me, new metal is fusing rap with metal, right? Or having turntables or whatever. We never did any of that. but. We came up at a time when, you know, bands like Limp Bizkit and Linkin Park and, you know, uh, Korn and, and, and others were really, really blowing up. So because we rode that wave of, of, of popularity at the time, um, people just lumped us into that category. But truth be told is we've always just viewed ourselves as, you know, a, a, a regular um, hard rock band. I'm sure that if we had come out in the 80s, you know, uh, we would have fit right in with, uh, you know, the, the Iron Maidens, the Judas Priests of the world. So it, 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 it never really made sense to me to begin with, to be honest. Bueno, dice que ellos salieron en un principio, que, cuando, que fue como una coincidencia, que los, los etiquetaron como New Metal cuando salió el New Metal, pero que ellos realmente no son una banda de New Metal, se considera que siempre tuvieron su personalidad, eh, como que fue, tuvieron un cierto nivel de popularidad que los terminaron metiendo en esa canasta, pero dice que no, que dice que si ellos hubieran salido de los 80s, los hubieran puesto como con Iron Maiden, con Judas Priest, con todas las new bandas de la New Wave o British Heavy Metal, eh, y realmente dice que es una banda que tiene su personalidad, es una banda de metal. Ok, David, what can you we expect for the show for of this term today? You know, so many people. Y le pregunto qué podemos esperar del show de estar con tanta gente en este festival. I don't want to give away any secrets. But it's going to be a special performance today for sure. Um, you know, we've got a nice long set. We're going to be playing a mixture of material over the course of all of our records. Um, and, and we may have a surprise or two today. So people should definitely, uh, you know, stay focused. Bueno, dice que van a estar haciendo, no quiere eh, contar secretos, pero va a estar haciendo un set bastante largo con todos los hits y que puede haber un par de sorpresas en el show. Así que, okay, man, thank you very much for your time, for coming by here. And good luck with the show. Estuvo David Rayman en exclusiva para nosotros. Le digo, le agradezco muchísimo el tiempo y le deseo mucha suerte por el show. Just any hello or whatever to Vortex people. You have the camera already there. You're very welcome. Looking forward to playing today. Can't wait to get in front of the Buenos Aires audience. I know you guys are amazing. Estuvo David Rayman en exclusiva con Vortex en vivo charlando con nosotros. Thank you very much, man. Good luck.